can remember that my sister and I lived in a four-room house. In that four-room house, we had oil lamps and uh, tin wood stoves, outside bathrooms, an old ice box that stayed by the front of the house for the ice man to bring the ice. And that was back there in my time at that time. Living in New Orleans, I grew up in New Orleans, in the housing projects of New Orleans. When Hurricane Katrina hit, I thought Katrina was just like any other hurricane. I've had a long journey, and my journey included, you know, going to high school. I was raised by a preacher father and religious family. And in the religion that we grew up in, it was girls grew up to get married and have babies. No education was necessary, you know, to, to do this particular line of work for a female growing up. We lived 25 miles from school, going and coming. I would go to school, get off the school bus, and pick cotton and chop cotton. Did that all that in that year, but yet still, as I, my parents taught me to always, regardless of what you do, how you do it, do it great, always get an education. After Hurricane Katrina hit, when the, when the um, levee broke and the street started flooding, a lot of people don't understand that the water that was coming through the streets was sewer water, and we had to walk through that water and it was like really contaminated, the water was contaminated. When I got to the Superdome, which was like, I say, a good mile from my house that we had to walk. And me and my son, we walked, me and my two, two of my sons, because I have five, two of them, we walked to the Superdome. When we got to the Superdome, I couldn't bring anything into the Superdome but my purse. When we got inside of the Superdome, it was a lot of mayhem. And by me having diabetes, it my son kept asking me, Mama, don't die on me, Mama, please stay awake, Mama. As I was saying about my gambling problem, my kids, they felt like I would always go and lose the money, the, the rent money, the mm -hmm. light bill money. Mm -hmm. And we'd be in the dark. There's times we've been in the dark. And right before Hurricane Katrina hit, I was about to be evicted. Okay? The day that Hurricane Katrina hit, that Monday, it was a Sunday night, that Monday, I was, my furniture was going to be put out on the street. So I tell people a lot of times, Katrina was a blessing for me. Because if it was not for Hurricane Katrina, I don't know where I'd be. I'd, I'd probably still be in New Orleans, not trying to, mm -hmm. to go to, back to school. Go back to school at 40-something at 40 years old. That's not, that, that don't sound. And I realized that the world had made changes, and I was in it. So I had to learn the new changes of the world, which everything in it was technology. I said, okay, I'm going to school. And that's when I enrolled in Pulaski Tech and uh, uh, obtained an Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, and um, uh, then, you know, numerous number of certificates. I received the most outstanding student award in my year. <laughs> so, you know, like, I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, this journey has taken me from here to here, and I did wait. Learning the path or the planning of being successful, helping you to find that, that goal, uh, that career path. That would, that's one of the journeys that you start, is finding that plan, getting that plan ready. In my class, I've learned to uh, set that plan, lay that plan out of how I am to make that journey all the way down to the graduation. And I feel like everyone should take that course in the beginning regardless because it helps you to make that start. You need to take
Elite Career Seminar. That's one of the first classes I would take if I were you. I said because it gives you a foundation on direction. It gives you uh, some guidance on what you do to do it academically. So, and also in your career path. You know, whatever field you choose. They can help you with resumes, get yourself together. You need to take the class. You need to come to Pulaski Day. More about resume building. Um, career goals, setting goals for myself, um, interviewing skills. I was able to do a mock interview. The budget, I would use it everywhere I go from now on out. That was something I had never in my lifetime known anything about. It helped me set my budget. And even uh, in that course, and it's Cooter, the Cooter. In that course of the Cooter, I got a chance to buy me a house, buy me a car, set my set my goal for how much money I want to make, the type of job I would like to have. I experienced with many many jobs. That's a training everyone should have, and I love that. And I'm hoping that it would remain in every class. <laughs> the budget exercise, at first, when I did the budget exercise, I had, I was in the negative. And then Ms. Tucker said, oh, Barry, you need to, you need to get your food correct because you're not going to be spending all that money on food and you need to um, work some way to calculate and get it right and get yourself in the green. And now I'm in the green. I'm like three hundred and something dollars. Me, I could save that. Tells them how to manage their money, their Pell grants, their uh, what they should or should not do as far as taking out loans. It's just not free money. You have to work for it, and working for it, it also includes your classes. <laughs> There are a lot of obstacles that we all overcome. And to me, being here at Pulaski Tech, I don't have what's called a blood family. Only me and my children are here. And a lot of people here at Pulaski Tech, and especially in my career seminar class, have embraced me. And it really makes me feel like I can do it. You can make it. Even though I'm an older woman, I can make it. I can I can get that degree. I can graduate. I can get that career that I really want. Just a few fans, if I met someone coming in up walking up to the school, they stopped me and they said, uh, I heard that Pulaski Tech is a good school. What do you think? I think it's a great school. I said, I was able in my older age, you know, in my last years of life. <laughs> You know, in the latter part of life, I come in here, I'm able to do it. You can do it with even more success. I'm still continuing my education, even regardless of what age I am, because as I told you, I'm, I love my age, and regardless of what come forward or what I'm confronted with, I will be here at Pulas Pulaski Technical College until I graduate, and I see myself as graduating in 2014. And I know my mother's in heaven smiling down on her, because she called me her baby. I know she's smiling down on her baby and saying, all right. <laughs>